All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, our base. You can prime with any base you want. Um, today I'm gonna be using Bear Study Paint Pot, and you probably can't see the label, mine's all messed up, but um, if you want a very dupable color to this, um, it's like a, just a champagne kind of color. Um, Urban Decay Primer Potion and Sin is a good dupe. Um, yogurt, NYX Jumbo Pencil is similar. Um, or if you have Kitten Smudge Pot by Benefit, that's um, also, or not Benefit, Stila, that's a good dupe as well. So I'm just going to rub a little on my finger and put it on my lid. All the way up to the brow bone because we are going to be putting um, color there. And you just want to take a little bit and put it right underneath the eye right here. And it's kind of champagne-y, but it's also sort of a skin tone, so it kind of blends out very nicely. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a flat shader brush. I'm going to use my Sigma SS239. It's just a regular brush, you know, shader brush. And I'm going to use, um, the first paint I'm going to use is Jardinaire's, and that's it. It'll focus. There we go, Jardinaire's. Now, this pigment, unfortunately, is discontinued. Um, however, I got mine, like, not too long ago at the CCO uh, cosmetic outlet store, so you could probably still find it there. Um, if not, there's eBay. Also, um, I'm told that it's a kind of a mix of Honey Lust and all that glitters eyeshadow, so you can use that, um, you know, if you don't have this. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the end of that brush, tap off the excess, and we're just going to pat that all over the lid. And I'm going to take it kind of in the crease just a little bit, just to get a little, a um, little bit more color up in the crease. The next pigment I'm going to use is Circa Plum. This is a sample that I got. Um, I got it from thebodyneeds.com, I think. Um, but it came out with the Rose Romance collection. I know you can get it at most CCOs now, and now that I'm using it more, I really, really do like it, and I really, you know, hope that when we go to the beach next time I can find it in the full size. But I'm just going to take a small blender brush. This is um, a Sonia Kashuk one but it's similar to a MAC 222. Um, and I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to define this crease just a little bit and just give it a kind of a wash of purple. It's not going to be too noticeable. It's not going to be too purple but I um, also want to tell you like a good trick to flawlessly getting like the windshield wiper motion. You take the brush and you hold it like you would a pencil, take your chin, rest your chin or the side of your face into the, um, your palm and then you could just, you know, keep it there and just go back and forth. Um, once you get, you know, better at it, it will become a better, um, way for you to do it, whichever way is better for you. Um, I kind of have done it so much I don't really need to do that, but, you know, it's a good trick when you're just learning. I'm just going to bring this into the crease. Okay. So now what I'm going to do after that um, is going to take my third pigment. And I know this is like a pigment episode, but um, this one also is um, discontinued, unfortunately. But I did find this one at the CCO as well. So you, if you have a CCO near you, you probably can find it still too. And this is Coco Motion Pigment, which is probably one of my favorite pigments of all time. Um, it's kind of a bronzy gold, brownish color. And I'm just going to take that on a fluffier brush. This is a MAC 217. I'm just going to get a little on the end, swirl it in the cap tab off the excess and with that same windshield wiper motion just go right over that um, circa plum. So while I've got that cocoa motion out I'm going to take a uh, SS, I think this is the SS or is this the MAC? This is the MAC 219. I'm going to get a little of the um, cocoa motion on the end like that. You know, like that. I'm going to wet it with some Fix Plus. 
And then I'm going to go and pretty much line the bottom lash line with that bronze color. I'm not going to take it all the way into the inner tear duct. Just because I think that when you line all the way to the end, and especially with like a dark colored liner or something, you kind of close off your eye. But that's just my opinion. You can do so if you'd like. And I'm also going to smudge a little whatever's left over onto the um, base of the top lashes. If my mirror would quit coming on. Okay, so the last step is going to take um, Vanilla Pigment, which is um, this one by MAC. And if you own, like just one pigment vanilla pigment would be the pigment I would own I love vanilla pigment it is a great highlighter and um, you can highlight your eyebrows you can highlight your cheekbones you can vanilla pigment is just amazing I love vanilla pigment so I'm just gonna take my um, Mac 227 the big fluffy brush like that um, if you don't have this brush Sigma just came out with um, a, a brush a 227 ish brush of their own um, I don't know how much it is off the top of my head, but you can find it at their website. So I'm just going to take a little of the vanilla pigment, and that's actually way too much. I'm just going to tap up the extra. You really do not need a lot with vanilla. And I'm just going to highlight the brow bone. And the good thing about this brush, especially when you use it for highlighting or something, um, you can kind of erase anything and blend out what you don't like or what you don't like the shape of. Okay. There we go. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go in and line it. And there goes my mirror again. I need to get one that's not touch. And there goes my computer lighting up, making me look all fluorescent. But there we go. So, for liner, and I forgot the brush. Crap. This one will have to do. I'm going to use one of the Physician Formulas little um, gel liners that I got in those sets. This is from the Brown Eyes Kit. It's the plum one. The plum colored purple. That's the color. And this is the brush that came with the set. I'm just going to use it. Hopefully I don't epic fail at it but we'll see. And I'm just going to line the top line. Now, um, I'm going to show you, I like to start in the middle of the eye and work my way out and then kind of drag what's left in. So, um, I'll show it to you because <laughs> I can't really talk you through it because it's difficult. Um, gel lining is the one thing I will tell you you really kind of have to pay attention. But anyway, I'm just going to start in the middle of the eye. and go to the outside and then start on the inner corner and move my way out trying to stay as close to the lash line as possible now if it helps sometimes if you press into the corner of your eye it kind of makes it a straighter line so it helps a little bit that way um, but don't, you don't ever want to like tug, you know, like that. I kind of really generally prefer an angled brush for gel lining because I feel like I have more control over where it goes then, but... So that brush didn't do too bad of a job. So the last thing we have is um, um, mascara. I'm going to use the new CoverGirl, what is this, Last Bash Fusion? Yeah, it's the one that's volumizing and lengthening. Um, I love CoverGirl Lash Blast, but I want it, I've been really into like getting lengthening mascara because, I mean, who doesn't want long, long, luxurious lashes? I mean, I look at Tiffany D and I'm like really jealous. <laughs> 